All right. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. And good morning. I want to go into a quick, quick little lesson. Um, I woke up this morning. But first, before that, let me give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaka Kodesh. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaka Kodesh. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and peace. To the hopeful elect. I'd like to say Shalom. Remember who you are, right? I woke up this morning and I was reading in the book of Baruch, chapter 2. <clears throat> you know how you go to um, daily reading. Sometimes I look at the daily readings. And, uh, you know, before I get out of bed, you know, sometimes I. Look at the daily readings while I'm just sitting there pondering on what to, you know, what to bring out in a lesson. And I got to reading this group too, and and I uh, I started thinking about the movie Lion King. You know, whenever um, you know Simba had lost his father. And uh, his father came to him in that cloud, you know, in that chariot, pretty much, you know, I, I, everything is spiritual, you know, and uh, it wasn't a chariot, he just came out the clouds, but, you know, everything is spiritual, like I said, and I started thinking, I'm like, man, that sound like Israel, it sound like, that sound like us waking up in these last days, you know, when they said, remember who you are, you know? Whenever Mustafa, I think that was his name, Mustafa. He said, remember who you are, you know. And then Simba was looking up there in the air. And then uh, the clouds was, you know, was thundering and lightning. Then it went away. And then he went back to his kingdom and took his kingdom back over from his uncle Scar, you know. Scar kind of like Esau Edom, you know. And, uh. We were cast, we were thrown away, but you know, just going to a few scriptures, you know, it's a beautiful thing these days that we're coming back to the remembrance of who we are, man. And we're the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, and the Bible is a book for us. Okay, and that's a blessing, man. It's a blessing to be the Lord's chosen people, man. Okay, so. Just pondering up on my bed this morning. Just wrote down a few of these scriptures. And I want to go through here with my notepad. And uh, this is Baruch 2, 30 and 32. And I'll just go to it. And I was reading that Baruch 3 also. And this is uh, Baruch 2. <clears throat> and um and thirty and it says For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people, but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves. Now we are in our land of our captivity. Okay? America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great. In this land, we are captives. We still hold captives through birth certificates, social security cards, you know, last hired, first fired, um, made a reproach, and, you know, we're still subject to payments. Going back over here to Brug 3, right? Baruch 3 and 8, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We're still slaves. Okay? 
And most of us, you know, before we were called into this truth, we were wondering, we were, we were looking for something, looking for the truth. And all it took is to hear that name, you know, Yahweh, Bashem, you have a shot, you know. <laughs> like the scriptures say, and then you hear a word behind the saying, walk this way, you know. Okay. And that's what we did, you know. We were searching for the Lord. And uh, looking for wisdom. And the Lord gave us. He put us in remembrance of who we are, man. Going back to that Lion King movie, you know, when Mustafa told Simba, he came, he came in the cloud and was like, remember who you are, you know. That's kind of our, that's kind of our lot right there, man. In these last days, waking up to who we are, man, going back to Ezekiel 37. Okay. We're in a strange land right now, remembering who we are. That we are the Hebrew Israelites, the sons and the daughters of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Baruch 3, and it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments. Yeah, you subject to payments, man. Okay, all these things, these things weren't for us, man, but we went off against the Lord. And he put these curses up on us, man. You know, Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down. So now coming back in remembrance of who we are, we are changing our lives and trying to get right with our power, man. Okay? And as we look at the world around us, everything, everything is against us, man. Everything is against us, man. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. You are the Hebrew Israelites. You are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Okay? That were scattered abroad, spoken of in the scriptures. And in these last days, you know, <laughs> we're seeing all these things and there's so much pressure on us. Like, dang, what do we do? What do we do? But now we know what to do, man. Now we know. While we're subject to payments. Now we know why we're going through this and going through that. Now we know why we're in the ghettos on the very, very bottom. And we're trying to make it right with our power in these last days so that we may be saved. Okay, from the impending danger of the Lord's wrath. And coming back home to our Heavenly Father and our Savior. Big bro, he howled shy, man. You see? redeemed without money you see <laughs> hey man it's a beautiful thing but uh I was just going through this is Brook 2 and I'll start at 30 again for I know that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people now two thirds of our people they are going to die on this side man it's all about the elect it's all about the elect. The Lord reserved an elect. Okay, and we call ourselves hopeful elect. Coming back in remembrance of who we were before, you know, this current captivity, man. Before Christianity, before all this stuff that's been pushed on us. Okay. By the heathen. Okay, by Esau Edom. Okay, so a remnant's going to be saved, man. And they're going to come back and remember who they are. Many lion kings, man, you know. <laughs> it says, for I know that they would not hear me because it's a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them in heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name, you see, 
and think upon my name. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. That's what's going on right now, man. That's what's going on. Now, I wanted to go into these words, right? Remember and hear. I wrote those down. Salakia. Because in order to remember, okay, let's go to the etymology. I already got it pulled up. The word remember in the etymology dictionary says keep or bear something or someone in mind. Retain in memory. Preserve unforgotten. Remember, recall, bring to mind, bring to mind. You know, like the apostles, hey, you know, they always put us in remembrance, you know, whenever he was going to different, they was going to different um, churches, okay? They go to the Gentiles and then they, they go to the, the regular, you know, those of the circumcision, but always putting us in remembrance just like our apostles today our apostles and elders a great millstone put us in remembrance of who we are man okay it says to recall to mind remember be mindful of mindful remaining to recall to mind bring again to memory Okay. Bring again to memory. Remember implies, it says, remember implies that a thing exists in the memory. Not that it is actually present in the thoughts at the moment, but that it recurs without effort. Without effort, why? Because Hopefully we're those same spirits that the Lord, that was making the earth with the Lord, man. Okay. The elect. Okay. The elect, man. It says without effort. It recurs without effort, effort that, that memory. Okay. And all we needed was to hear that word behind us, right? Okay, now let's go into this word here, right? We got remember. I got a bunch of scriptures here. I wish it wouldn't. I wish it would stop jumping like that. But bear with me if you can. The next word I want to look up was here. Because in Baruch chapter 2 and 31 it says, and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. Here, let's get that word here, right? I'm sure I looked it up already this morning because I just was looking through this thing and doing a little studying. It says to hear, to hear, perceive by ear, listen, to obey, follow, accede to, grant, judge, hear. It says, uh, to hear, to mark, perceive, hear, and for some of us, you know, we were searching so much, we were searching for, because we knew that something wasn't right, man, but, you know, like we're going to read, I think it's in the book of Isaiah, I wrote it down, you know, and then you hear a word behind thee, hear, <laughs> it says, Meaning to be told, learned by report. Yeah, when we start, we were searching the net and all of a sudden some of us came across, you know, it was me. I came across the Men of Valor Brothers and they were saying, Yahweh Bashim El Shai and this, that, and other. They're talking about Great Millstone. This, that. And then I found the Great Millstone Brothers. I found the elders. And ever since then, I just, you know, I've been amazed. I've been hooked. I've just been like, wow. Man. It's like I've been looking for something my whole life and. It was just right there in my face, you know what I mean? This is truly a blessing, man. Ready to hear, to be told, learn by report. Ready to hear, obedient. Literally hear some. Yeah. It says, 
originally was imper imperative an ex exclamation to call attention to a speaker's words. Yeah, we start listening to the Great Millstone. Okay. They're teaching us this truth, teaching us who we are, going into different words, growing in the faith, praying, praying for wisdom, understanding, praying for faith, discipline. Because we knew once we heard that word, let me, I'm going to keep on saying it till I get it. Okay. I'm going to keep on saying it till I get it. Let's go to the, uh, the book of uh, Isaiah. Let me see. Isaiah 30. And 20. And it says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, yeah, we're in the land of our captivity. Okay, having to go through all types of things, man. Okay, because we went off against the Lord. Ain't nobody's fault but ours. And the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. No, we see our teachers all the time, man. Instant in season and out of season, man. Putting joy in our hearts. A lot of us wouldn't know what to do without this truth, man. You know? When we was in the world, we was looking for it, going off, doing this, that, and the other, all types of just crazy stuff, man. But when we heard that name, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, we, we knew, we knew it automatically, it clicked, bow, something, something inside of us was like, it was like, um, it was like a light shine, man, you know, because we'd been searching and searching and searching and And we found it, man. <laughs> we found what we was looking for. Through the spirit of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, giving us teachers, man. You see? To teach us this word. To put us in remembrance of who we are. Okay? It says, Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. Here's the point. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Yeah, man. Beautiful, 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 man. Woo! That's how it was, man. <laughs> and, you know, we was dead for a minute. So I wrote down and says, Why would we need, why would we not have ears to hear? Because the Lord said he, in the land of our captivities, they shall remember themselves. How do we remember ourselves, okay? And why would we need ears to hear? And I wrote this scripture down, Isaiah 6 and 10, okay? Isaiah 6 and 10, let's go to it. I'm just going to be going back and forth, so bear with me, Lord willing. This ain't going to be too long. Isaiah 6 and 10, and I'm going to read it in here just in case I got to get something. And uh, and it says, Isaiah commission, Isaiah's commission, right? And I'll start at 8, and it says, Also I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? So they're, they're in heavens, right? The, the, the heavens are having a council, you know? <laughs> right? Heavenly Father's having a council up there, you know? And it says, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. Okay. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. See, the Lord don't want everybody else. He only wants his elect. Okay. <laughs> he only wants his elect, man. It's all about the elect. Because everybody else, man, your family, your friends, they're, they're never going to get 
never gonna get it, never gonna, they're not gonna get it, I mean, who's, I mean, everything is possible with the Lord, you know, they could, they could wake up, but we've already tried to give them the name and things like that, you know, they're never gonna get it, so, we're just so blessed to have it, and praying every day that the Lord doesn't take it away from us, man, okay, this truth, the Holy Spirit, of the cockadush, man, the understanding, wisdom and knowledge and understanding of who we are and what's to come. The kingdom of heaven, man. You see? Remember who you are. You see? The Lord don't want everybody to get it. What, the, what our Lord pray to the Heavenly Father? You have a shot to the Heavenly Father. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Okay? You see? So it's a bunch of people that are never going to get this. King David also prayed, right? Psalm 69, 22 through 28, right? Psalm 69, 22 through 28, right? <clears throat> yeah. Just a few little, few little scripts. This is Psalm 69, 22. 28 and it reads let their table become a snare before them okay because Israel our people has always been wicked man okay we, we've been wicked against the Lord worshiping different gods just like today there's nothing new under the sun man but the Lord preserved a remnant man it's all about the elect man the many lion kings man you see Remembering who they are in these last days. It says, King David prayed, it says, let their table become a snare before them. And that which should be, have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Okay, let their eyes be darkened. That's why our people don't get it. That's why people around us don't get it. That let their eyes be darkened. Psalm 69 and 23 that they see not and make their loins continually to shake pour out thine indignation upon them and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them let their habitation be desolate and let none dwell in their tents okay for they persecuted him whom thou hast smitten and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded add iniquity unto their iniquity and let them not come into thy righteousness, man. So King David prayed that, man. Okay. Because our people have been very wicked. Verse 28, let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. So it's all about the elect, man. That's why you'll be trying to tell somebody about it. And it's like, you... You automatically know that there ain't nothing in there. You know, they got a brain and, you know, the Lord just cut them off. And it's like you're, you're speaking to the air. You're speaking, you know, they're looking at you or whatever. And it's like you're, you're, you're telling them the name of the Lord. You're showing them different scriptures and telling them about our heritage, telling them about, you know, our high holy days and things like that. But it just goes right over their head, man. Okay, because the Lord don't want everybody. He only wants his elect. Okay, he only wants his elect, man, you see? So that's what King David also prayed, right? Then I found this this one here in Romans, right? Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11, 7 through 15. What then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, right? Let me just go to it. <laughs> Let me go to it. I'm sorry I keep going back and forth. I mean, I'm sorry I keep going back and forth. Okay. Yeah, because Israel's, <laughs> you know, our people have a, a, a zeal of the Most High, but not of knowledge. Okay. Like the scriptures say. So this is Romans 7. What then, Israel, okay, have not obtained that which he seeketh for? Because our people are searching. They're searching, but just like we were searching. And the Lord blessed us with teachers. We heard that name, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and it clicked to us. 
You know, it doesn't click to them. They still want to call on white man Jesus, man. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According that is, as it is written, God have given them the spirit of slumber, yeah, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David said, Let their table become a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block. And a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see and bow down their back always. You see, see, that's what that's what's happening, man. Let me go ahead and read eleven. I say, then have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, because because the Lord loved everybody. Lo love, Lord loves all of us, man. All of Israel, man. Not everybody. <laughs> Especially not Esau. Okay. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Okay. And we are those Gentiles, man. Driven into a strange land. We've been following customs, Christmas, this, that, and the other. Okay. All these things, man. They'll be coming back to our heritage, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, God forbid, but rather through their fall. Salvation is coming to the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if the fall of them being riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. Yeah, man. See, for I speak to you Gentiles in so much as I am an apostle of the Gentiles. I have magnified mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are of my flesh. And might save some of them. Now let's go into this word emulation right here. Okay. May provoke to emulation. Strong's 3863. Let me turn this down because you know how I am. It might be too loud. It might be too loud. Let me see. Strong's G 3863. Paradze lao. Paradze lao. It says to provoke to jealousy or rivalry to provoke to anger okay provoke to jealousy because um, those of the circumcision were jealous <laughs> at first until you know it says uh, the root word para from at besides near no, I don't want to go into that let me go into this one to burn with zeal, to be heated, or to a boil with envy, hatred, anger, in a good sense, to be jealous, zealous, in pursuit of good, to desire earnestly, pursue, okay, to exhort oneself for one, that he may not be torn from me, okay, to be the object of zeal of others, to be zealously sought after. Okay, so what the apostle is saying here, hey, if they get jealous, you know, it is of the Lord. But hopefully through this, they come, you know, to understanding, man. Okay. It says, verse 15. Yeah, and I should have just read this first. For if the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be? But life from the dead. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Ezekiel 37, man. You know? And, you know, hey, we were remembering who we are, man. Remembering that there was a diaspora. Remembering that not all Israelites are dark-skinned, man. <laughs> you know? Some of them may be light-skinned, you know? Some of them may be, you know, Chinese-looking or whatever. Arabic-looking or whatever, man. They're all the children of Israel, man, through the diaspora, okay? The seed of their fathers, because we were scattered everywhere, man. These are the mysteries of the kingdom, man, okay? And not everybody can understand that, okay? You see? Not everybody can understand that, man. This is a beautiful thing that the Lord has done for us, man.
And I just was thinking about it this morning, man. Hey, we we coming back to that remembrance of who we were, man. You see? And I wrote uh, here, I said, the scriptures say there shall be a falling away first. Yeah, because we had to fall away, man. That's that second Thessalonians, right? And I'll just read it from here because I'm tired of going back and forth. It says, the scriptures say there will be a falling away first. Second Thessalonians 2, 3, and 4 says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Okay? And falling away, you know, we fell away from who we were. We fell away from our heritage, our customs, you know, the way we live, okay, keeping of the law. We fell away, man, especially to that Jesus Christ character, man. <laughs> uh, Christianity, that's a stumbling block, man. It says, except there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And we know who the man of sin is these days, Esau, Edom, so-called so -called wicked elites. Okay, which just happen to be uh, Caucasian or European people. Okay the Illuminati and he's being revealed this day man and, and and the more we see it the more we we strive for the Lord we're like yeah hey that's him Lord that's him the sons of Satan right there that's them that's them Lord save us from that man because he, he he's 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 a destroyer he's he's destroying everything man food water everything he just kills and kills and kills and kills always in a lab somewhere <laughs> always doing everything messing up the earth cutting down trees just everything just 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 wickedness man going into different countries stealing resources gold silver everything man setting up coops different places setting people up acting like they didn't do it you know hiding all his uh you know we still don't know what's on that damn laptop man nobody knows what's on that list of uh, Epstein Island, nobody knows, man. He, he just he's just a wicked, wicked man. You know, changing the changing the children. You know, children have to grow up and have to deal with uh, you know teachers uh, and people forcing on them, uh, you know, homosexuality or you know LGBTQ stuff. You know, you know drag school drags drag shows at the church now yeah that christianity's a joke man drag queen shows uh satanic after school programs pronouns um uh, just the list keeps going on and on so that man of sin is being revealed and the more and more <laughs> we see these things we know we're like yeah these these people are the devil man there ain't no other way you know <laughs> like Job 9 and 24, if not where, then who is he? Now, I'm not trying to go all the way into Esau, you know, every lesson, you know. <laughs> we just can't help but point this man out. So getting back to my lesson, it says, And except there come a fallen away, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Second Thessalonians 2 and 4, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And that Jesus Christ character, a so-called white man, is a stronghold, man, a very tough stumbling block to our people. They just can't get it out of their minds because it was beaten to them during slavery, man. Okay? But guess what? Through prophecy being fulfilled, and the Lord keeping a remnant, the elect, we are coming back, and these dry bones are living. Now, I already got that Isaiah 30 and 21. I'll get it again. And thine eye and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Yeah, this is the way. Okay. Yahweh Bashem is the way, man. Okay. As soon as we heard that name, soon soon some of us heard that name. That's all it that's all it took. That's all it took, man. It was like we started running towards that name. You know? Like where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? Oh, who said that? Who said that? I know that name. You know, it's like you know, you you're being put in remembrance, man. 
And this is the way, walk ye in it, when you turn to the right hand, or when you turn to the left. And that Ezekiel 37, man. That Ezekiel 37, boy. I'm trying to tell you, let's get that, because I got to get it, man. Okay. That Ezekiel 37, man. Let's get it. Let me see. Yeah, man, because <laughs> that's what's happening these days, man. That's what's happening. The water you have a me, I was shy. You see? And I'll just read it. From verse 1, it says, The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Okay? You see? In a valley, a pit full of bones. Okay, a falling away first, right? Okay, we fell away. We don't we don't know who we are, man. Everybody's searching. Okay, but the Lord is putting us in remembrance. Let me read it, verse two, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, without the truth, without the Holy Spirit. Okay. Without without the Lord, man. Okay. Worshiping different gods, Christianity, Islam, all these things. Always trying to find the Lord in something. Okay. It says, verse 3, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O God, thou knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Yahweh I was shy. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. Yeah, man. <laughs> and ye shall live, man. We wasn't living in this world. Slowly but surely uh, rotting. I mean, we're still rotting because of these decrepit bodies but we were just on the verge of death i mean we are we were dead in the world man now we're living that this truth is in us man remembering ourselves remembering who we are okay going back to that movie <laughs> whenever simba was looking up in the cloud his dad was like remember who you are now we we coming back man we coming back. You see what I'm saying? Let me read five again. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live. Okay, and that's what's happening these days in the last days. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Okay, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise and behold, a shaking. Yeah, the Lord is shaking things up, man, bringing all these Israelites back to their heritage, man. Okay, bringing back the elect. Okay, not all Israel is of Israel. And it says, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Verse 9. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slains, that they may live, man. Okay? You see what I'm saying? So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceedingly great army, man. You see? So we coming back in these last days, man. Coming back to who we are. Giving that breath of life, man. Okay? Those mysteries of the kingdom. Our heritage. Faith. Obedience. Okay? Following the law, statutes, and commandments as much as we can in the land of our captivity. We can't follow everything. 
we still got to work on the Shabbat some days and things like that. But hey, we, you know, uh, we uh, going over and practicing the righteous acts and doing the best that we can to make our calling and election sure, man. You know, coming back to our high holy days and it's a beautiful thing, man. Verse 11, then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts, man. You know, because these other heathen nations, man, like Psalms 83, you know, they, they've had a part in these things, man. They've had a part in they doing that Psalms chapter two, you know, cutting away our bands from the Lord, man. That's why a lot of us fell away. We cut away our bands. They painted over the pictures of the images of our Lord and the angels and everything, man. Put a covering cast over us, man. <laughs> so we, we became dried up. We became lost, man, like wanderers, man. It says, verse 12, Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves yeah, <laughs> and cause you to come up out of your graves because we've been dead in a dead state, man, and bring you into the land of Israel. This is beautiful, isn't it, man? It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. The water Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for that, man. So we remembering who we are, man. Many lion kings, right? <laughs> yeah, many lion kings. And that's pretty much the lesson, man. Just a few notes that I wrote this morning. And we're so thankful for the Lord. Hopefully this message was edifying. I'd like to say shalom.